peoples, it's myself Banner Works here today. Welcome to The Fix. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Air Jordan 4 Retro LS Oreo. Remastered, heat or hype? Let's find out. Check it. So the packaging is really, really basic. It is the Air Jordan 4 box. It comes with a standard black lid with a massive red jump man and flight underneath it. And it is a cement grey all round box. The labeling on this is the Air Jordan 4 Retro LS. LS stands for lifestyle, and the colorway is black, tech gray, black. Now this isn't the 30th anniversary box that we've seen on a few releases this year. They've kept it really original with the Air Jordan 4 box as it is. Let's see what happens between 1999 and 2015. Is Jordan brand giving us something brand new, remastered, or is it just the same old top? Let's have a look. So the first same old top from me is the bin bag paper. Come on now, Jordan. Do we really need this anymore? We don't. Ooh. Okay. Now, having a look at this, there's no glue marks. There's no over threading. And these look like a complete shoe. Let's have a look at the other one. So for all my people out there that actually inspect their trainers in the store, I would actually say, first impressions of these, I like them, I like them a lot. Let's go into more details. When I can get the lid on the box. Check it, check it out. We're looking at it, it is a black sneaker, ultimately, but it is an Air Jordan 4 retro release. So what do we get for our money now? It's a remastered. So what they mean by remastered is the leather's meant to be better, the build's meant to be a lot stronger, and you're paying a little bit more money, but hey, what do you get with an Air Jordan every year? The price goes up. So with this pair, it is black, tech gray black, but we call it an Oreo. The Oreo comes in with the midsole, speckle is like an Oreo, and I must say the paint is very smooth on this. The Oreo also comes in on your eyelets, Oreo finish on both of them, under tech grey, but the actual wings on these, if you own the Air Jordan 4 Retro Legend Blues, it was leather. This has actually gone back to plastic now. A lot of people will complain about that, but hey, it's what we get. The trainer also has tech grey with the Jumpman on the back, the Jumpman on the front, on the inside and also on the sole. The back wing obviously is done in leather, not plastic, so it shouldn't break away. If yours breaks away, that's a fake. Check it, check it out. In my honest opinion, it's a good sneaker. Definitely worth the investment. It's one of those sneakers that you have in your collection that you will wear anytime, any place. As it's a full grain leather sneaker, it's easy to wipe clean and obviously, you know, the rain weather that we have in the UK, it's not going to destroy it. Me personally, I like to sit on my sneakers for a little while before I wear them, but I can honestly say I'm going home wearing these today. It's a good investment, it's a good cop. And it's always good to have a nice keychain as well. So my overall heat rating for the Air Jordan 4 Retro Oreos Remastered, I'm gonna give you four out of five flames. Four out of five, because it could be better as it's a remastered, but you know, you get what you pay for. It is very comfortable, as a typical Jordan is. It's a four, a lot of people love it. At the same time, I'd like a little bit more at the sneaker, maybe better laces, who knows? But yeah, my heat rating for this is gonna be four out of five. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, and also leave your comments. Let me know what you think, and if you actually copped a pair, and what you actually think of your pair as well. It's been Bannerworks for Crep Junkie. This has been The Fix. See you later. Check it, check it out. Let me know what you think. I should have done that, it? What did you think of it? Check it, check it out.